So in order to play the song Stay, we're just going to use some chords in the key of C. If this seems um, hard for you, I want you to go back and do the Let It Be song. But if you've already done Let It Be, this should be easy breezy. We're going to start with a C major chord. And then we're going to do a D minor and an A minor. Now you'll notice next on the lead sheet, there's an A minor slash G chord. What that means is I'm going to take my A minor chord and I'm going to switch it down to the G like this. And then we go back to a regular A minor and then the slash chord, A minor, the slash chord again. So all together it sounds like this. left hand, we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to just add the root note. So the C will be for the C chord, and let me get to adjust my fingers, and then D, and then the A. Now when we do the slash chord, we are also going to switch up that bass note. switch our left down to the F so that we can do the bass note. And then it's just a real basic F chord. One, two, three, four, D minor, two, three, four, then A minor, two, three, four. And then you stay on that a bit. And then our F, mm -hmm, D minor, then it's G. Okay, so all together that pre-chorus is round and around and got to that stay, I went to that little riff that's the signature part of this song. I want you to stay. Quick. So it's one, two, three, four. to download the PDF that you are looking at right here. It's available on the blog and uh, you can print that out and practice it. But let's quickly go to the bridge on the second page of the lead sheet. We've got our F. So I apologize, my left hand fingers are all over the place. Um, but as long as you're not flipping around, I'm sure you can figure out the left hand part, but we're doing pretty straight up beats here. It's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's it. Cause I need this whole goal. Stay on D minor. Funny you're the broken one when I'm the
and then you just do your chorus again. So that is stay in a nutshell. The hardest part is the riff. So I recommend you practice that first, then go back and do the rest of the song and try to sing along. And if you have any questions, let me know. But it's nice that it's in the key of C. Again, these are chords that you can use over and over and over again in many different songs. If you had trouble with that rhythm for that main riff, then start with the Let It Be tutorial because that's more straightforward. Then once you feel comfortable with that and your hands are a little stronger, then you can try this song. Okay guys, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you later.